A rural expanse on the southern tip of the Korean peninsula is a testing ground for public transport of the future. Travelers check in using facial recognition technology. This is a mock vertiport, the gateway to electric flying taxis that take off and land vertically. Over the past five years, South Korea has been building the aircraft and infrastructure in partnership with consortiums of its largest companies and research institutes. Through bold regulatory reform, the government will create a space where businesses and researchers can spread their wings as we continue our partnership to develop much-needed technologies. It showcased the latest advancements at a high-profile event. What you see behind me is the OPAV, the optionally piloted personal air vehicle, South Korea's answer to the air taxi. Its first public test flight marks a milestone of sorts for the country that's aiming to launch the flying taxis as early as the year 2025. The vision is an automated aerial public transport system connected by a network of vertical docking ports on rooftops high above the congested roads below. More than half the population, about 26 million people, live in the greater Seoul metropolitan area. But analysts say urban air mobility vehicles, or UAMs, come with their own challenges. The initial hourly operating cost for flying a UAM will be quite high, so the government will need to convince the public of their viability before UAMs can actually become an accepted mode of public transport that's profitable within a short time. This flying taxi will advance to in-city testing later this year. Yunus Kim, Al Jazeera, Kohung, South Korea. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.